Did you know no. that uh, one of the Beatles drove a Mustang? Oh, yeah? Yeah. They did. It was a Harrison Ford. Bum, ba, dum, ba, bum, ba, da. Welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Harrison Ford. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more. Cheese content. Thanks for your Twitter comments. Click the like button. Do you see the new one yet? Nope. I have not seen the new one yet. Me either. I, I've heard, sadly, I want to see it because I know it's his last time being Indiana Jones, but I've also heard reviews, this was back when it debuted at Cannes, that it just, it, it's lackluster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the last one or two were... The, uh, uh, after the, I mean, for me, the last good Indiana Jones films was the the Final Crusade, the Last Crusade with Sean Connery. The ones after that all fell short for me. Yeah, uh, but I love Indiana Jones. Anyways, uh, today, what are we doing, Rick? I haven't the foggiest idea because I'm not in London where it's foggy. Today, uh, this is we got a, a rap song. Rap song. Rap song. Read this. Uh, this first song is called "The Last Ride." And it is a tribute by him to his idol, Tupac. He's talking about Tupac's life and legacy, but the lyrics also fit his life very much as well. The similarities are uncanny. And it's, um, th this is his name. S forgive mispronunciation, if at all. Sidhu Musiwala. The Last Ride. The Last Ride. And so it's is... both a tribute, but it's also autobiographical, it sounds. And it's a, uh, somebody English, not our subbers, so if the subs are not up to our subbers par, it's... <coughs> It's not our suburbs. It's just a version on the internet. Got it. So, here we go. Cali for this. LA specifically.
tribute there with the uh, whatever that instrument is. It's very all over Tupac's stuff. Nice. I like it. Is he the one that died a year ago? I believe he somebody... I don't know if he was assassinated or what. I remember a, about a year ago or so, a big rapper died. An Indian rapper. Um... And I don't remember if it was him. Well, let, let us find out. I, I'm, are you looking? I'm going to look. Um, it would make sense because he said it, it did prophesize his life kind of similar to Tupac's. Um, yeah, it says, as it starts out here, it says was an Indian rapper. Yep. And yet it's in May of 2022. Yep. Um, I remember it. Uh, it, it was all over... Um, everybody's feed um like renvier like everybody that that was a fan of he was Renvere. shot by unidentified assailants in his car gotcha yeah okay tupac um yeah apparently it, it, it closely emulates and um it was very it was, it was a fitting uh tribute because if you haven't listened to tupac please go listen to tupac if you're a fan of rap the man had more impact on rap than any rapper really ever has and he was only making music for seven years i think yeah i think tupac only made music for about seven years and he had probably the biggest most lasting impact of any rapper that ever will um have uh on on the genre and he was also 90s rap was very different than what rap is today it was all stories and mm -hmm. them rapping about stories it sounds like what he was and in. where they came from yeah, and that, that little i think it's a synth is it a synth that mm -hmm. yeah the high pitch uh it was very 90s but it's tupac uh biggie as well uh used it a lot yeah it's uh, such a it's such a mixed bag for me because on the one hand on the positive side of things i find it to be some of the most authentic artistry you'll find on planet earth because it's coming from places of of, of just open total honesty of this is how it is mm -hmm. and i applaud it and uh, for that yet on the other side of that coin the negative side for me is how much um the lives of the people in it are rooted in criminality and gang violence it's just really difficult for me to celebrate it in its totality because so much of it is embedded in and completely fueled by um criminality and gang violence hmm. and gang mentality it's very difficult for me to jump on board that um not me i'm part of the crips uh <laughs> can't you tell uh oh yeah how old just by he? looking at so you if, if he died uh he's born 93 he's younger than me mm -hmm. so i was born in 91 so he was so that's 28 29 when he died 29 uh no 28. He was almost, he was about to turn 29. How sad. That's awful. He was, it is. It's absolutely uh, I would love to hear more of his tragic. because I, I enjoyed um, his flow in this, obviously. Uh, this one was especially about, obviously, his inspiration, I guess, in, in Tupac. Um, the rapper, singer, songwriter, performed Punjabi. Yeah, obviously, he was, sounded Punjabi. Yeah, very much. Um, why do I feel like a lot of rappers that we've heard are Punjabi? <laughs> Is that, is that? I think that's. I think you're right. No, I don't, I don't know I don't why. Think a lot of them, of them have. A lot, like a of, lot of them are Punjabi. Maybe it's just a, comes yeah. with a, being being an OG of of the Punjab, like me, like myself. Could be. Corbin Singh. Could be. Bring it strong. Editing shit from Dust, Dust till dawn. dawn. He uploads every day, even if a block gets in his way, he'll still put that on Patreon. Copyright strike. Don't guess on. Watch him. Bright and early. Chicken Chick clock. 0830, boom. There, there it goes. goes. What's it going to be? Only Corbin knows. He's got the skills that you can trust. Now watch him do his pelvic thrust. Mm. Mm. Uh, if you don't know what that is, some do call, you haven't seen any of our celebration videos. Some do call me the Tupac of Indian American it's reactions. True. It's true. And by the way, Van Owen is a street that runs right down the middle, east and west, yeah. straight through the San Fernando Valley. It's very, very, if you're in LA, you know Van Owen. I wonder if they went where he was shot. In fact, it's not too far away. It's um, a very long street. Yes, yeah, it, it goes the full length of the valley, like all of the east and west do you remember, do for the do you most know part. Where he was shot? 
What part of the... Who, uh, Tupac? Yeah, Tupac. He was shot in Vegas, I thought. No, he was shot in L.A. He was shot in Vegas? I thought he was shot in Vegas. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought he was shot in the streets of Vegas. He's from L.A. And his last... I know his last words. You're making a joke? No, okay. I am not. <laughs> okay. His his la- At least his last words that were recorded by one of the cops on the scene. What was it? The cop said to him, I know you... He was telling him, he's laying there, I, I know you know who did this, who did this to you so we can get them. And Tupac looked at him and said, fuck you. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a very tumultuous that, time. That is, that is one thing that I think, whether you're Crip, Blood, or any anywhere on either, all the... They may hate each other, but they hate the police more. Well, they, especially around that time, that was oh, yeah. the 90s, Rodney King riots. The, yep. the, <laughs> there's bl- 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 police brutality. Was it N.W.A. who had fucked the police? Yeah. Yeah, which um, I guess if you're, a, if you're married to a cop, that's not a real insult. Um, the very tumultuous time of the nineties, uh, with, uh, police and, yeah. and African-American I'll tell you what, still, it was, um, eighties and leading into the nineties. But in the eighties, when I, when I was in high school, the reality of the Crips and the Bloods in LA and how bad the gang violence was down in Compton and the inner city was really freaking scary for a teenage kid living in LA. It, it was, it was real. And if you saw anybody sporting blue or red, you didn't even look at them because it was it was real yeah. and it was all the time going on. Anyways, uh, please let us know more from him and other rappers, uh, Indian rappers that we can react to. Uh, always enjoy these. Please let us know down below.